In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple little nickel triple defensive scheme. This is something that you can use uh, to just get really good pressure against the quarterback. This is kind of a basic defense uh, a version of this defense. There's so many more versions of it, and I actually have the complete nickel triple defensive ebook in my description of the video. It's going to show you how to stop pretty much everything out of this one formation. This formation is absolutely insane and I'm really excited to share this video with you today because this is going to give you a really simple little defensive scheme that you can utilize uh, pretty much all out of the cover three or Tampa two. You can do this out of any uh, play in the nickel triple. I personally prefer to do it out of nickel blitz three. So that being said, let's dive into this video. And all we're going to do from this, really, it's it's a very simple defense. We're just going to pinch our defense. And then from there, I like to crash my defensive line out. And then if I'm going to send pressure off of the left edge, I'm going to globally blitz my linebackers. And I'm going to place my uh, slot nickelback here that was on a blitz. I'm just going to put him in man coverage on whoever I want. So I typically will turn this into a cover three cloud and kind of do a Mabel setup to that side or double flat. And what you're going to see here is this is going to create a nice little simple three man pressure concept off the left edge. As you can see right there, it's really, really simple. Now, the, the one thing that I want to really hit on here is how your opponent can adjust to this. So this blitz is very consistent, but if they block a running back, and I'll show you that real quick, you're going to see here that it's very likely that this blitz could get picked up and you're going to be, uh, you're going to need to have an additional play to go to. And that's where I like to go to my second setup. So my second setup is actually, uh, you know, a little even simpler than my first. And all we're going to do is we are going to man up we're going to globally blitz our linebackers, okay, as you can see. And then I'm going to man up the left of screen middle linebacker here, Thompson, onto the running back, just like that right there. And now what you're going to see is the pressure is going to come off of the opposite side. As you see right there, it loops around and comes at the quarterback. And what's even better about this pressure is let's say, for example, the uh, opponent is blocking their running back. Well, what you're going to see is if they're blocking their running back, We've got the blitz already set up, and at the snap of the ball, what you should see is that looping slot defensive back coming around the edge for instant pressure, even against a blocked running back, because we manned that running back up. So now, the next thing that they're going to have to do is they're going to have to start to block a tight end. So if they block a tight end, I'm going to show you how this works here, but what you should see is this pressure off of the left edge. Uh, should have at least a shot of looping in. We've got some different edge rushes and angles and things like that. But for the most part, this is a pretty good little pressure. Now, you know, really the answer this year out of bunch, if you want to pick up pressure, has been pretty much to block the tight end. That's been like the go-to, uh, that's been like the go-to kind of defense. Well, with this blitz, you'll see here, they will be able to have some success if they block that tight end, uh, as you can see. But for the most part, you know, if they send five out, this is a great little defense to be able to run. Now, the other thing that I love about this defense is it's very simple to uh, set up max coverage because, again, you have to remember this guy is oftentimes going to be a safety. So if we want to set up max coverage out of this defense, uh, it's actually relatively simple. I like to go ahead and play that uh, cover two deep half style uh, of coverage to the bunch side, and then we're going to drop essentially a double Mabel concept on that back side on the bunch. And then on this left side, all we're going to do is drop that middle linebacker into a, uh, a hard flat. And you're going to see that this is going to create a double Mabel coverage uh, on that side. Whoops, one second here. I accidentally messed up. Um, but anyway, as you see here, we've got double flats on both sides. And then as you can see, we're going to be lurking over the middle of the field, able to really take away a lot of what most people are going to want to do. As you can see, super simple max coverage defense. And we're able to... You know force them to have to at least work up and down the field now the cool part about this is if we wanted to say uh, whoops let's say that we wanted to send uh, pressure against a delay fade then all we would need to do is just blitz that slot corner so as you see here this is a six man uh, pressure against five man or six man protection and you should see that we're going to be able to come through off this left edge right there I made a mistake with my user so let me run that back one more time and again it is a little bit finicky as far as where you stand but if you can get your stance 
correct, you're going to find this is a really, really good defense. So again, we're just going to stand right here. And at the snap of the ball, as you see right there, we almost got that A-gap pressure coming in at the quarterback. Now, another little trick that you can do out of the nickel triple is you can show blitz. And when you show blitz, you're going to notice here that it's going to bring this safety on the back side down. And this is a great way to essentially combat this as well. Um, this is really, really good, especially against Max Protect. All we're going to do is crash our defensive line down. We're going to globally blitz our linebackers, man up the running back, and then you're going to see here that if they max protect, we're going to have a decent chance at still getting some instant pressure at the quarterback. I want to thank you for watching this video. I also want to encourage you, if you've not picked up my Nickel Triple Defensive eBook yet, it's on sale right now. There's a link in the description. You can get the full defense for just $15, and that's a one-time purchase, and we're going to continue to update this defensive guide throughout the remainder of the Madden 22 season with any patches or anything that we need to tweak or do differently. So if you want to get that full defensive eBook, there's a link in the description below. Below, and you can get that defensive guide for just 15 bucks.